Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Romantic where we specialize in HVAC to do everything DIY. Today we got a service call for another water source heat pump in a super dangerous location. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jump Romantic. We're working on a water source heat pump. I've got my wireless gauges on the unit can only reach one of them it's a very difficult spot and we have a standing pressure of about 106 psi and look at this this is our infamous McQuay unit this is a completely new location but we have the same beast and once again we have a red LED blinking we have a red LED blinking and here we have a code list and to my understanding this is high head pressure Here's a strainer, and I'm definitely curious about that. To restart this unit, we're gonna have to kill power, and that's what's gonna reset it. So let's do that and watch the pressures and see what happens, see if this even starts. Here's the BX coming into the unit. It goes into this plug. Oh man. Then it goes into here. Maybe if I follow it down, there's a switch comes down straight into the breaker panel. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> What's going on there? We actually have one, two, and three two pole 30 amp breaker. Let's start with this one, new AC. I heard the fan stop. It's gonna be that one. Should we start it? Thermostat's gonna reset. Never seen this. What is that? Drop the temperature. <laughs> Our room's at 78. We set it to 70. Fan is on auto. Mode is on cool. Press is started and the fan started. Let's check our pressures. We have a 60.5 pound back pressure. Did not read any tags, but I can tell you right now, this is a R22 unit. That is a normal pressure, unless <laughs> this is 410A and we have a low pressure issue, but let's throw a thermometer in the duct and see what kind of temperatures we have. And if it's cooling, then that's definitely R22. It's 59 degrees, supply air, and it's about 78 in the room, I believe. So we got a great TD, 20 degrees TD. The ducks look nice. So this is definitely R22. Had a head pressure issue. Either we have a dirty strainer or they had an issue with their cooling tower wherever this water comes from. So let's go ahead and turn this off on the thermostat. Close the supply and return. Pull that strainer, take a look at it. Clean it if needed. Throw it back. And turn this thing back on and get these people some cooling. They, had, they said it didn't work for months. My gosh. All right, I'm gonna close the supply and return. Yeah, just therapy today, Mom. Close that. Close to hand valves, and we're gonna drain from here and get to the strainer. I right, got a little bit of water coming out. That strainer gotta be filthy. Look at that dirt just out of there. Let's open that up. Just made it. Get that bucket again. 
Guys, there's no strainer in there. There's no strainer. <laughs> what? That's bad. Let me see if I can open up the other valve and kind of like back flush it. All right, got water flow. It's no strainer. That's insane. It's clean. Gonna put on some mega tape, some Teflon tape for this cap. This is good for gas and water lines. And as far as this one, there's a gasket inside but I can't believe there's no strainer what is going on here <laughs> all right so I rebuilt this on the outside I'm gonna close this up there's a gasket inside tighten it down restart and check pressures Closed. Let's open up the water, make sure there's no leaks. Slowly. All right, that looks good. Let's open up the return now. All right, we got water flow. Give that a minute and then from here let's start the unit so what i was saying is that if we look at this this is our high side it's connected to the water regulating valve so we can't check pressures on the high side we can only get the low side unless it's a whole bunch of work to be done here i would put a swivel t so one goes into here and then we could check pressures owner doesn't want to spend too much money figures so we're gonna let it be let it run and let's make sure that this stays on at least 20 minutes mode cool 78 in the room set it to 70. fan auto compressor started and i hear the fan running so let's give us 20 minutes it says 2 p.m. on there, that's the wrong time, it's 11.25. Let's check back in. There's the AC. 59 degrees. Let's go ahead and see how far this goes. Because they're not sure. Because they have a second unit here. And if they said if this can cool off a good amount of space here, then that would be it. So goes into room goes down here into these rooms so that's where that dog goes but there's another system here it's definitely yeah that's gonna be for this unit I don't know if they want to work on it. I gotta call the owner but here's another one of these strange stats completely dead Nothing going on here. What is this? Another breaker panel. How you open that? <laughs> Let's see, nothing labeled. It's gonna be either one, this one or this one. This one's on, this one is off. Oh wow. That turned on. I don't know what that is. Wow, all right, well, it is what it is. In and out, one side says 150, and the other side is a, 
you know, it goes past the limit, past 170, so we have a, do have a differential in pressure for the water. There's no water strainer. And the inlet temperature is 70, outlet is 80, which is pretty good. So the cooling tower and pumps are running. The system is still running. And there's my alarm, it's time to feed the parking meter. But this system, ready to go. All right, so we're running for about half an hour now. Everything seems to be good. And they're gonna need a strainer in the strainer. But besides that, if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.